The first Octavia was launched already in 1959 and since then a lot has happened. So now Skoda presents the fourth generation of the car and this is the car we're driving today. I will have a closer look about the new engines, about the new driver system and safety systems. Maybe I'd have find some more simply clever solutions and of course we have a closer look at the new interior as well. We do find new displays inside of our car. So we do find now a digital cockpit here as standard, um, which is 10.2 inch in size. And this is completely configurable the way you want. And you have different styles you can uh, choose from. So you really can yeah, build the cockpit you want. And it's flanked on one side with the information about your tank and on the other side with the information about the car's temperature. So that makes the, the cockpit looks a bit wider. Uh, on top of this, you do find um, touch screens at the center console from eight inch up to 10 inch. And uh, this 10 inch system here really is a, an absolutely pleasure to look at. And it's completely configurable. So you can choose from different um, favorites you want to put on. You can choose how your home screen should look like. You can choose what should be where. You can completely configure it the way you want. And this is something I really do like. And it's not only this 10 inch screen that looks very, very pretty inside of a car. It's also all the functions behind it. Another thing which I like a lot is the new steering wheel. It looks so modern, so fresh and together with the new cockpit, it really gives the car, yeah, a completely new and fresh look. On top of this, you do find new buttons and knobs at the steering wheel. On the left hand side, you can control the complete audio system. You can start the voice control and you can um, start the heated steering wheel. On the right hand side, you can control on one hand the driver assistance safety systems and on the other hand, the whole cockpit of your Octavia. Overall, if I'm right, this new steering wheel offers you about 14 different functions to play with while driving. The new Skoda Octavia is now 1 meter 83 in width, and that's a massive 15 mil more than its predecessor. Yeah, I know, it looks a lot wider. One reason for that is the new grille. It's wide and it's very flat, but I think more important are the new headlamps. They're a lot thinner, a lot more precise, a lot more sharp, and to mention it, now as standard or with an LED technology. And if you want, you can have matrix LED as well with 22 bulbs per side or LEDs per side, but that'll cost you some cash extra. And you still find the logo of Skoda at the bonnet. And to prove that we do drive the so-called trim level style, you do find this chrome element here at the front bumper as well. I really do like the interior of the Octavia. So you do find soft edge material, you do find fabrics, you find leather, um, you find things that look a bit like, like a metal. So all the surfaces, everything is absolutely nice. And you do only find plastic a bit more lower down here at the center console or maybe in the side of the doors. But that's something that really just doesn't matter because it looks great. You have no extra noises in the car. So I think I really do have to say absolutely love the interior. Of course, there are also new Simply Clever solutions in the new Octavia. These include the Comfort Filler Neck for refueling at blue in the diesel vehicles or the two pockets for smartphones in the backrests of the front seats. Also new is the optional hand brush in the matching storage compartment of the front doors. Of course, the eye scratcher in the fuel cap should not be missing, just like the trash can in the door or the ticket holder on the windshields. One of my favorites is the so-called sleep package, which in addition to special headdress also offers matching blankets for a relaxing nap. Who wants to charge his mobile devices inside of the New Octavia can do this with two USB-C devices here at the front. On top of this, you do find one up here, which is perfect if you want to put something on the front window. And on top of this, you do find two more for the rear seats as well. The new Octavia always comes with 16 inch alloys, but ours is the trim level style, which means we always do find 17 inch on board of our car. The Octavia now is 4 meters 69 in length, which means it's only 22 mil longer as the Estate and only 19 mil longer as the sedan, but it looks a lot longer than its predecessor. I think one reason is this line here and this line down there, which really stretches the car a lot. And when you look at our car, we do find a different roof rail here, which looks a bit like metal. Normally it's black, but this is part of the so-called style edition as well. But I think that car now looks not only stretch, it looks a lot sporty and a lot like the Skoda Superb to me nowadays. 
Another new highlight in the car is for sure the new head-up display which really provides you with all the information you want and you can configure it that it is only showing what you really want to see. Looking at the rear of the new Skoda Octavia Estate, the first thing that catches my eyes is this very big spoiler up here and that together with this very flat rear window stretches the car a lot from the side. Another new thing is you will not find the Skoda badge anymore here, you do find the Skoda signature. Some people may not like it and if you're living in the right country you're allowed to say no while ticking the right box and then it will be just gone. But I think the most important thing here at the rear of the car are the new taillights. They now always come in LED technology and if you want more you can have this so-called crystal lights and they then always feature the dynamic indicator as well. The Octavia always comes well equipped so it features a standard for instance a climate control, it features digital radio and it does feature leather steering wheel as well. Um, but on top of this you can buy loads and loads of extras, some of them in very nice packages and to give you an idea of what will always be in the car and what you can configure how you're going to do find the list with the standards and the list with the optional extras and the packages as well. When we talk about storage compartments in the car, you do find big compartments in the door. So you can put a 1.5 litre bottle in there. Another small compartment will be found left under the steering wheel. Not very large, but enough to put your wallet in. If you look into the centre console, you do find um, at the front a quite nice compartment where the um, wireless charging is placed. Then you have the gear shifter and behind that you do find two cup holders. Behind that you do find the armrest which is, which is completely adjustable and under that you do find another small compartment. And of course you do find um, more cup holders on the rear seats. And important is in the doors, on the rear seats you can put 0.5 litre bottles easily. Another real eye catcher are these two air outtakes here at the centre console and on top of them you do find extra buttons to directly choose what you want to do with your infotainment system. The new Octavia will feature a whole variety of different drivetrains. Um, so you do find um, two diesel versions, 115 and 150 horsepower, maybe later an RS version which then features about 200 if we're lucky. Um, with the petrol engines you do find um, horsepower between 110 to up to 190. Important here I think is the one litre three-cylinder engine, this is the 110 which is a new engine and very fuel efficient. Um, on top of this you do will, you will find natural gas engines uh, that then features 130 horsepower and then there will be plug-in hybrids. Uh, a smaller version and the top version which then features 245 horsepower system output which then is for the new RS model. Um, of course you do find uh, manual gearboxes in most of the Octavia, of course you do find front wheel powered cars but if you want you will have for most of the cars an uh, automatic gearbox uh, DS DSG available and of course some of them will be available with a four-wheel drive as well. My test car is featuring the 110 kilowatt or 150 horsepower diesel engine. This is a two liter engine and that offers 360 newton meters of maximum torque. It is combined in my car with a seven speed DSG gearbox and that really is an absolutely nice package. You do have um, the right engine and the right transmission to just let it go easy and enjoy your time in the car. On the other hand, it is powerful enough to provide you with the kick you want when you drive, want to drive a bit more sporty. And so for me, this really is the absolute perfect package because the fuel consumption figures are very nice as well. The new Skoda Octavia Estate offers 640 liters of maximum boot capacity with the rear seats up. That's by the way, 30 liters more than its predecessor. If you fold down the rear bench, that increases up to 1,700 liters, which is, to be honest, 40 less than its predecessor. Um, if you're interested in the sedan, that only offers 600 with the rear seats up. On top, you do find this luggage system here, which gives you the opportunity to yeah, split your boot a bit to have it a bit more organized. And you do find this uh, adjustable floor here, which gives you the opportunity to decide if you want to have this as a flat part or if you want the maximum boot capacity. Um, if you want to tow with the car, the new Octavia Estate 
with our engine on board offers you up to 1,600 uh, kilograms of maximum towing weight. At first glance, 640 to 1,700 litres of luggage space does not sound like much. However, if you look around in this segment, you can see that, for instance, the Opel Astra Sports Tour offers 540 to 1,630 litres. And a Ford Focus Tourneur 608 to 1,653. Even the significantly higher class BMW 5 Series Estate provides a maximum of 570 to 1,700 litres of cargo space. I really like the kind of drive the Octavia offers because it is, sits so smooth and so solidly on the road. And if you want to do it a bit more quick or a bit more sport, you just change your drive mode into sport and then the whole car gets a bit more crisp, a bit more direct and precise. And if you want to do it completely differently, yeah, then just choose Echo and then the car is more environmental friendly and will use less petrol. Of course, the Octavia offers the most important driver assistant and safety systems as standard. So for instance, you do have an emergency brake on board, you do have a lane assist and you do find an, um, a speed limiter and a cruise control as well. But of course, you can have a lot, lot more. And to give you an idea of what is basic and what is an optional extra here, you do find two lists just to show you what you will always get and what you have to pay for. Our test car should take 3.7 liters per 100 kilometer driven. And I always thought this is a very nice number, but honestly, our car never uses six liters. It always uses between 5.5 to 5.6 per 100 kilometer. And I think for a car with 150 horsepower and an estate of that size, that's a very, very nice number. The new Octavia offers more than enough space at the front seats, even for tall persons like me, I'm nearly two meters. On top of this, you do find yourself on very nice and comfortable seats, which also offers loads and loads of support. How much space there is behind me, we're going to find out while having a short stop. So the short stop over to see if I can sit behind me. I didn't change my seating position. Let's see. So with my knees, I do have, yeah, enough. But with my hat, it's not comfortable. Um, we do have this roof here, this sunroof, which means I do have a bit more space. But maybe if it's not in there, there's more space at the outer parts. I'm not quite sure. Another new thing in the new Octavia is when you drive the automatic gearbox, this um, gear shift knob here, because this is no longer a big one. This is something we call shift by wire. So it looks a bit more like a joystick and that provides you with the option to choose your drive mode. And uh, it is something you may need to get used to, but on the other hand, it really saves space. To make the interior of the car your interior, you can also play with the ambient light because that offers you up to 30 different colors. The entrance price of the Octavia Combi base model Active, which can be ordered a little later this year with a 110 horsepower three-cylinder petrol engine, is 22,290 euros in Germany. An equally powered Opel Astra Sports Tourer with a 1.2 litre engine is available from 21,190 euros. The Ford Focus Tourneur starts from 22,200 euros and is powered by a 1 litre EcoBoost engine with 100 horsepower. Overall, I have to say that the Octavia really is a car that is a pleasure to drive and it always provides you with a feeling of being, yeah, more than welcome. That was my test drive with the new Skoda Octavia Estate. And what I really do like with the car a lot is the new exterior design because it looks so much more modern, so much more sporty, really benefits the car. When you then look into the interior, you do find the same. Everything is modern, everything is fresh. Of course, we do have new systems on board, which we may get used to, but at the end of the day, you will find so many new and very helpful features on board of that car. Some standard, some are optional. What I'm 100% a fan of is the new seat because this seat is not only extremely comfy it also provides you with so much support it's an absolute pleasure to sit in there and to drive for a long while uh, what i'm not 100 percent a fan of is the space behind it normally i can always sit very easily behind me and a skoda but this time it wasn't 100 percent comfortable maybe the reason is the new seat i'm not sure maybe we find out that with another test drive but um, one of the biggest pluses with our test car is the engine. The 150 horsepower diesel, 
the consumption is absolutely great. It only took between five up to six liters in average, which I really do like and which I not see every day with such a size of a car. And what the new Skoda Octavia definitely proves is that this is the next generation.